they do move in herds. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my fellow YouTubers. It is I, your host, Brooding Gamer. Some even call me the Dinosaur Man. If you can't tell by my voice, I'm sick. But, do we sit inside under blanket and drink hot cocoa to make things feel better? No, we do not. We go out and we hunt for dinosaurs. That's what we do. So, that's what we're going to do today. We're not going to be doing it all day because I am sick indeed and I do sound horrible. And I feel horrible. But, I know what y'all want. And I'm going to give y'all what y'all want. And that is to go and hunt down some dinosaurs. Uh, Dominion figures are dropping a little earlier than we had expected. Throughout different stores. Walmart, Meyer, of course, as we remember from the big... The massive toy hunt video unfortunately those were not able to be sold hopefully now they will be as of this moment i do have the therizinosaurus large slashing figure pre-ordered and i do have the giganidosaurus the colossal giga has been pre-ordered from target as well the therizinosaurus i did not pre-order from target so for you guys jump on target i actually pre-ordered that from toywiz.com i don't know if those are still up for pre-order unfortunately i could not tell you but that's where i pre-ordered mine from if i find a therizinosaurus in stores i am going to buy it anyway because i am going to end up pulling what i did with the small figures i'm going to get at least that one i'm going to get two of we two of each um and then unbox one of them for a review video that i've got some big plans for i'm super excited for it you'll be able to tell which one's my favorite of course and um of course for the big toy hunt the huge toy hunt on the 17th of april which is 10 days away it, actually it's 8 18 a.m right now I, I feel stupid for being outside doing this this early in the morning but you know i've got what's left of my coffee here. So, uh, real quick before we head out, I wanna thank you all for the overwhelming support. We are now almost at two, 330 subscribers. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We're sitting at almost 330 subscribers and that is awesome. Last I checked it was 228. It's been making me nervous because I'll be sitting there looking at it and it'll be like 220, 218, or 318. I'm like, hold on now, you were just 320. And then it would like bump back up to like 322. And I'm like, oh wow, so I lost one and gained like three. That's cool. And this is a very unhealthy job to be sitting there looking at your subscriber count like that. Don't do that. Don't be like me. It'll happen if it will. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. I am confident that we'll be able to do it. I think we'll be good. I think we'll be awesome. And I will be spending money on Alan Grant costume stuff here very shortly. <laughs> that I will be going to stores to locate items that I need. So without further ado, let's stop talking because it hurts. <laughs> and let's, let's go hunt down some dinosaurs. Key is to get here early okay so I already see a bunch of stuff <laughs> oh, excuse me <coughs> so I see that we have Owen and Beta the extreme damage Tyrannosaurus which to me looks exactly like the other one and I wish they had the other one 
they have a lot of the Ceratosaurus in now. And, oh, they even have the Allosaurus, which I am, oh, they got another one down here. I am going to be picking that up. So tell you what, let's run to the front and get a cart because I can't carry all this. So they've got blue and beta, which I'm going to get. It's a shame they don't have Claire in the Dilophosaurus, but I because I would get that. They have blue. They have these little things here. They're like I don't know what they're they're called uncaged. Jurassic World Dominion. And you've got blue and the Dilophosaurus. Those appear to be I guess 848. I'm guessing. But they've got blue and they have the Dilo. So we're going to be picking those up. I don't... I really see like feel like this is just kind of pointless. Because it looks... See on the back they have the other damaged figures. Which is a shame. Oh! This is perfect. They actually do have both. So that I can show both off. So there is a paint difference on both. But it, other, in other words, it is the exact same thing. Just a different paint scheme. So, they have two of those. So, we'll go ahead and we'll pick that up. That. Probably go ahead and pick up a couple of these. And the Allosaurus for sure. Because I have been wanting to find the Allosaurus. But, before we do that, they also have more of the Bite Squad characters. They've got the Stego, oh, the Stego, Spino, the T-Rex, this Mosasaurus. I think that's the Ocean Protector Mosa. And then another Rex and a Stego in the back. So, apart from that, that is all of the new stuff they have at this Walmart. Which, they don't have any of the things that I saw at the other Walmart. The ferocious packs so that does mean that they have different dinosaur stuff at different locations so we're gonna get these and then we will go to target I think that'll be really cool all right let me go grab that cart that was Walmart I uh, did not get everything that I showed on there and financially because well that would be why because of financial reasons I have given myself a limit of 300 and I probably shouldn't be doing that and then being like toy hunting now because then that would leave nothing for the huge toy hunt however if they do start releasing all the roar of or stuff like that the colossal giga I will of course I've got the giga pre-ordered so I will be getting my version my copy in the mail I ordered that from target I don't know if pre-orders are still up I also pre-ordered my Therizinosaurus, like I said, the Toy Wiz, so those. But if I find them in stores, I am going to go ahead and buy one. So that way I can do an unboxing of it. And then my my way of handling it is I just buy it, review it, take it out of the, or buy it, take it out of the box, review it. And then I give it to my nephews because they also love dinosaurs. And they don't care if it's in a box or out of the box. So it's going to get torn up either way. So... Now that I know that each Walmart is going to have different stock, uh, the first Walmart we went to, we found the Ferocious Pack series, Wave 1, I'm guessing, and then here we found none of those. I did find the Allosaurus, which I did grab that. I will be doing an unbagging <laughs> at the end of this video. Speaking of that, uh, I have to say the best find of the haul was hauls. I, uh... Huh. It's sad that because of the time of year and the seasons changing, it is not the the dreaded C word. It's not that. Um, this happens at about this time of year when you have the weather changing from 30 degrees to 60 degrees, back to back to 40 degrees, then to 70 degrees. It happens, and I'm sure a lot of you. Uh, I hate Ohio so much, but yeah, it's funny that I can't taste hardly anything or smell, but I sure can taste that. 
and smell that. So I, at least, that's how I know it's not that thing. And I've already had that thing and it was miserable. I lost my taste. I lost my smell. Food was like eating Play-Doh for like a solid three weeks, almost a month. And I remember the first thing I ate where I had, I was like, I can taste it. And that was General So's chicken from a Chinese place up the road from where I used to live. It was awesome. Mm. All right. So we're not here to talk about my allergies and um, Chinese food, which Chinese food is really good. We're going to go ahead and go to Target. I'm hoping that we'll be able to find some cool stuff there. Maybe the clear during a dual pack with the Dilophosaurus. That'd be cool to find. And, um... Yeah, I'll show you what else I got. Maybe we'll find some more uh, battle damage figures. That'd be cool. But I will also tell you what I did not get, but I'll wait till the unbagging for that video. Okay, let's go to... So starting off with the Legos, not very promising. I thought they'd at least have something out for this and it does not appear that we do. We have the Baryonyx still from the last time we were here, the Carnotaurus and the Lego, uh, what was that, T-Rex Fossil Expedi uh, Exhibition. So nothing promising here, unfortunately. I didn't really expect to find anything Lego wise just yet, but Let's keep going. There is, I think it's right down this way. No, well, maybe there's a Toro right there. A little baby Toro. This is not, this is not a good sign. Well, they have one thing Dominion, one. And it's straight ahead here. They have all of these little minis here. But they do have a spot. No, this is for the mask. So they do have these here. And unfortunately, I don't know how much they are. I don't think that's supposed to go there. I'm a little disappointed here. I thought they'd have more. Still an overabundance of the Scorpius Rex. And they have those. So I think we'll grab like how many are there here? One, two, uh is going to be. I want to grab ones that seem kind of heavy. Not that one. Maybe a little heavy. Maybe a little heavy. I don't know how big these things can get. That one's got some girth to it. So just drop that in there. There's the Apatosaurus, the legacy Apatosaurus. I'm a little disappointed here. Actually, I'm not a little, I'm a lot disappointed. I thought Target of all places would have the most, but I say that every single time we go to a Target. We'll grab four. We will grab four. And we'll go and probably unbox those in the car. Oh, that's interesting. They have a lot of these throwback Godzilla monsters. Gorosaurus. When is the last time you've seen a Gorosaurus? I can't even tell you when the last time I saw Gorosaurus was. But I really, that, that's really cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and go... Uh, go check out well this bodes well for today so it has happened again <laughs> i uh, went to check out for the minifigures and as soon as i scanned the first one put it in the bag it said assistance is on the way the lady's like oh it's okay you just have to be 18 years or older to buy those things and i'm like okay god i'm getting red in the face i'm getting flushed I may have to cut this uh, this trip short today. 
Um, but yeah, I went up and then a big thing flashed up saying cannot be sold until the 17th of April. So, we've had this discussion. Don't put things out unless you're going to sell it. This is getting old, people. This is getting really old. You should not be putting stock out if it's not able to be sold. Honestly, I'm sorry, and I'm one of those people that feels if it's out, I should be able to buy it. Even if it says, sorry, it can't be sold until the 17th, that's not my problem. That's your fault for putting it out on, sh on, the, on the floor. So that's, that's really not my fault. So um, because of that, we're going to go, I'm going to uh, head to the Dayton Mall area. I'm going to check that out and see if their Walmart, their Target has anything. I know it's probably a bad idea to check out that Target because if they have anything here, but then again, see, that doesn't make any sense because Walmart's selling things that are out. So I don't know. If I find any other Rorivores, whatever, then I'm going to attempt to buy one just to see what happens. And if it says, you know, the transaction goes through fine, then I'll get one. And then I'll probably run back and grab the other ones that I didn't grab because I was testing it out. Or I'll just grab all of them, put them in the cart, and then, you know, if it happens, I'll be like, all right. So, let's go to Walmart over there. They do move in herds. I hope I don't jinx myself by grabbing a cart before I even go and check things out. Because, well... I don't know. I'm hoping with this target we don't have the same luck that we just did back there at that other target. That would not be fun. So, we're almost there. Sorry, I'm getting so close. Oh, no. That's not happening today. So this does not bode well for target. I think we're going to go ahead and push target off for the time being until, you know, the 17th when we do the big haul. I, I, I do think this is, I mean, the only thing I see is our boy, the Spino, who is, of course, experiencing some, well, his tail is fine, but his head is, ex, is experiencing drop, dropness. We, we've got a few that we can pick from, though, that maybe... I'm starting to think this may just be an issue that all the spinos have. His tail is really bad. I, I do think this may just be an issue that all spinosaurs experience. Because looking down here, all of them have a head drop. So maybe... See, his is really bad. I'm barely moving it and it's all over the place. This is not too bad. I'm thinking we may cut our losses. He's 30 bucks. This one seems to be the best out of all of them. I don't know. I have been looking for the Spinosaurus, so I may just say screw it and just go for it. It's, it's the best one we have found. And I don't know. I don't know. Am I going to kick myself for not getting it? I didn't want to blow all of the budget now on non-Dominion stuff. But I have been wanting to find the Spinosaurus. So maybe we'll go ahead and get the Spinosaurus. Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. I, I simply don't know. But on the bright side, at least you can tell this target was more, was smarter and didn't decide to bring out Dominion things before Dominion was even out. At least they were that smart. Yeah, at least at least they were intelligent enough to not do that. All right. Let's go ahead and 
go to Walmart now. At the second Walmart and see if we can have any luck. I see a few Jurassic World Dominion stuff, but unfortunately it looks like stuff we already have. Um, we've got the Dilophosaurus here, the Stinger Dino is not actually the Stinger Dinosaur. They've got that in place of the, the one thing whose name's escaping me. I kind of want to look and see if any of the Myers have anything. They definitely had a restock of the Roarvor, the, are they not called Roar, Roar Attacks? They definitely have a restock of those, the Aloe. I think they had like one more on their list. It was the Kentrosaurus, but let's see if they have any Kentrosaurus in stock and it doesn't appear that they do. It's just all Allosaurus and Ceratosaurus. I'm not gonna pick up the Ceratosaurus today. Um, I do not wanna spend all of my budget on OG figures. I would rather spend them on the new stuff. So, unfortunately, this one was not a very good haul. Or, uh, not really a haul, but not really a good good uh, example of anything. So, we'll head out and go to a mire, which I think there's one local to here. I'm not sure. We'll find out, though. So, let's uh, head to mire, and then I don't want to keep doing this. We'll probably cut it short. They do have a lot of the, the battle damage Camp Cretaceous dinosaurs so yeah let's go ahead and head out i did not even bother recording in meyer it was so empty in that store they had literally um the little hot wheel they weren't even hot wheels they're like the dinosaurs with the wheels that you pull back and they fly forward and they had an imaginex carnotaur from camp Cretaceous, so an imaginex toro that's literally all they had, the entire Jurassic World section. So we're gonna go ahead and call it quits, head back to the apartment. I will show you all what I got. I'm not disappointed with today's haul. I'm just disappointed with what we didn't find. I honestly, I don't know what I'm expecting because it is, it's not the 17th yet. We still have 10 days left. So I'm going to save back up a little bit, get back to where I need to be. And that way, come the day of the 17th, we will be up bright and early. I'm going to hate it, but we are going to be up bright and early to film the huge Jurassic World Dominion toy hunt. So I'm going to go ahead and head back. I will see you guys in just a second. I need a nap. Okay, we are back at the apartment. So I was gonna do a quick showcase or an unbagging, if you will, of what all we got today. <clears throat> we did, of course, run into another issue with stocking things prematurely, which, you know, it kind of surprises me. I thought that that would have not been another issue, given it was only the minifigures that we had that issue with and I don't necessarily care for the minifigures that much. I just thought it was really funny that they're still putting things out before they're able to be sold. Let me turn my air down here a little bit to be heard better. So <clears throat> we did make out with quite a lot today. Uh, that came out wrong. So I will, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I will start off with our first Jurassic World Dominion, and that is the Owen and Velociraptor Beta. I almost said blue. So this is baby blue, or yeah, baby blue, Beta. I will see if I can get her tab open here for you folks. Let me see if I can find something small, like a pen or anything for that matter. Should have like a, hold on a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something here tear off a piece of this cardboard and we're going to use that as our leverage maybe not maybe maybe not they really need to make these more accessible for people who don't want to tear these open to get to i don't know and it just 
busted open. Well, I am not able to get that off right now, and I don't want to open this like the tape just popped open. So you've got Owen. Let me put under there. You have Owen with a rifle, a knife, a fox, and Beta. Beta is actually quite big. I don't know if that's how big she'll be in the movie, but she's decent sized. So utility tool included. So that ran about $14.99, I want to say. That was that was not bad. We also went ahead and picked up the Allosaurus. Is it are they called the Roar Attacks? I went ahead and picked that up. That's a Spinosaurus. That's an Indominus. That may have been a normal sounding thing. I'm not 100% sure. So we've got the Allosaurus. I think that was about 14 or so as well. Off the top of my head, I'm not 100% sure. Let me put that back in the box. I can't wait to go up to the to the living room and see Haley's face when I walk in with a bunch of Jurassic World Dominion stuff. All right, so this was something else that I had to pick up. I was not going to be able to miss out on because I knew that if I didn't, I would miss out on it. And that is the Extreme Damage. They're extreme, not just the attack packs anymore. So Extreme Damage Tyrannosaurus Rex. She does not... She has her scanner, but of course it's in the very back here, so I can't get to that. And she has, there we go, her battle damage. Push it a little too hard and it goes all the way through the cycle. And I believe the jaw just unhooks. Yeah, the jaw just unhooks, so I'll probably keep it like that. Which is interesting, the head kind of has like a, like a swivel motion there when you... I don't, I can't really, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but the back of the head here kind of moves out a little bit when you open her jaw. So I was, yeah, I didn't want to miss out on this and I should have, I think I did it on video showing the comparison between this figure and the Camp Cretaceous version. And really the only difference is a paint job. That is it, just the paint job. All right, so we've got her. We picked up. Our Dilophosaurus Rowdy Roars. Now, unfortunately, she doesn't make any sound. She's supposed to, but I don't know if none of them were making noise. I, I tested every single one of them, and I'm sure it's because they have like a, like a little thing that you have to pull out in order for it to make noise, which is probably way down in there. Uh, the arms are very wiggly. Now, this is where I came into having to make a decision. I did choose the Dilophosaurus over Beta because, well, these are $20, $24 a piece right here. And this is not what I was expecting to... Like, I did... Yeah, all I can say is a choice was made. <laughs> I thought about I did grab both but then it was $84 just with one of these so I went ahead and put beta back and got this this one here because the Dilophosaurus has not been seen since Jurassic Park so of course I wanted to make this little guy he actually looks really good his frills got some good paint to it so I'm very happy with this I'm very impressed with this and I saved let me get these back in the box. And I do apologize if my voice sounds like it's giving out. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. I did save the biggest for last. I had to. I could not pass it up after the failure that we had at Best Buy in our last massive Jurassic World Kingdom, whatever you want to call it, toy hunt. I, I could not pass it up. So we did go ahead and pick up the Spinosaurus. I did make sure I grabbed one with a tail that is decent. And I did pay attention to every single head. And every head pretty much did the exact same thing. So 
it's not really much of a man i'd say it's more of a manufacturer issue than it is like the toys just being broken um unfortunately this one has some bad paint job on the toes it looks like on the well not on the toes but on the foot like a piece of or a drop fell out onto the foot so there's just a random black speck on the foot but apart from that everything about this seems pretty you know decent i'm very happy that i found this so that is the haul for today there will not be another toy hunt video until the 17th i will try and have that uploaded that that evening if not i do know we are oh, excuse me possibly spending some time with family that day because of course it is easter so i will let you guys will know you know if it comes up that night or the following day if i can get it uploaded it'll probably be worked on that night and then released hopefully if i can get it done in time scheduled to be released monday morning so i do have some finances i need to take care of to get back to where we were so that we will have money to purchase the new things when they come out i i'm very excited to see what we can find on the 17th because that appears to be the day that everything is supposed to be out i'll be very disappointed if it comes down to it and everything is not out and things are still being put out if things are still being put out as we go of course i'm not going to be rude and like get in their way and grab things i will snatch something if i can but yes so i thank you guys for joining me today at the time of looking um, a little bit ago we had 333 subscribers we are very close to our 500 subscriber goal we have 10 days left as of today the 7th to get these uploaded so or get these uploaded to get the 500 subscribers that we need in order for me to do the alan grant huge toy hunt i am very excited for this i think we can do it i really do feel that we we're able to do it you guys have destroyed the massive toy hunt video with almost thirty-four thousand views that is officially the largest video i've ever had with almost 500 likes that i saw last with 30 some 33,000 some almost 34,000 views <clears throat> excuse me you guys were wow my original biggest video when i started the channel the first time was my jurassic world fallen kingdom dlc video that got upwards of up to 26,000 views and i was astonished by the amount of support that video got and i want to say that's the video that really took off my channel it seems that the massive toy hunt video which i did not think would do that good has done the best it has skyrocketed my channel it's awesome i love you guys so much for the amount of support you're giving and this is a very expensive habit and very expensive hobby so i'm hoping that somehow i'll be able to make some revenue off these eventually i'm afraid to edit the massive toy hunt video to get the copyright taken down because i'm afraid that it will remove all the views and it was i did not expect to get 33 almost 34,000 views the first time so i'm i'm very happy i i know it doesn't really show because i'm not feeling all that good but I'm very surprised with the amount of support that we received on that video. So thank you guys very much. It appears that the toy hunts are very popular amongst the YouTube community right now. We are, I, again, I'm just, I'm very happy with everything. I'm very happy with you folks and how much support you've been giving me. We are so dangerously close to 500 subscribers. We have 10 days left. If we, 10 days left as of now, as of today, we have 10 days left. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here now, get upstairs, get this worked on so that maybe this video can get uploaded tonight. And you guys can help get to that 500 subscriber mark. And then we will then set another goal for 1,000 subscribers by, I don't know, June 10th? <laughs> That's probably expecting too much. I would like to have a thousand subscribers for a, a like a big video live stream of working on Jurassic World Dominion theme park 
in Jurassic World Evolution 2 using all if this is of course if they even drop this because I feel like they will they did for Fallen Kingdom I think it would be stupid not to for Dominion but to release Jurassic World Dominion DLC pack free update whatever you want to call it for Jurassic World Evolution 2 so if we can hit a thousand subscribers by then I will do a big live stream of us working on a park for Jurassic World Dominion I'm very excited about that. It'd be really cool to be able to release brand new dinosaurs into evolution that we have not seen yet, that we have not seen before. So 500 subscribers will get us the Alan Grant themed huge toy hunt video. And 1,000 subscribers will give us the live stream event of Jurassic World Dominion. Hopefully free DLC in Fallen uh in Jurassic World Evolution 2, not Fallen Kingdom. All right, I think I've talked long enough. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed filming it, even though I'm under the weather. But I'm going to get this up there, get this uploaded, and probably take a nap. It is about, it's 11 a.m. as we speak. I started this at 8.17 a.m., so we've been out roughly uh, three hours. So I'm exhausted. I am, I'm very tired. So I'm going to go upstairs, work take a nap and i will see you guys in the next video let's hit that 500 subscribe mark and uh you'll be seeing alan grant buying some toys all right brooding gamer signing out Mm-hmm.